Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, I have a project share today, and I want to share. I mean, I'm making sure I'm not in the video, like I always say, because I don't want to be in the video. I'm always in my pajamas. I'm either videotaping at night or I'm videotaping in the morning. And this time I'm videotaping at 9.56 at night, so cray cray. Okay, um, like I said, I'm going to do a project share. I did some teapots, as you guys can see, out of the Fairy Tale Wonderland book. Yeah, making sure you can see that. Let me open it up and just show you the page, show you what I used. So you guys can see. I did. Oops, that fell out. Okay. There we go. This one. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing it or not. I'll bring the book up. Um, this one here. Okay. And then this one right here. Are you seeing that? Yeah, right here. Aren't they so adorable, you guys? Loving. Love. Obsessed. I, I, you guys all know I collect teapots. You've seen all my videos. Um, I collect teapots wherever I go. If I can get them at a thrift store, garage sale, wherever. I'm always constantly collecting teapots. Okay, a few things I want to say, say about these before I start going through them. Okay, at first, I did not like making these because, for one, the directions aren't that clear. At least it's not clear to me. Secondly, after I kind of fig figured out how I was going to make these kind of with my own thing and the directions, then trying to turn the pieces inside out because like this part right here is really, is really, you know, thin and it was driving me crazy. So the first one I did, which was this one, I'll go through it like this. This is the first one I did and I still love it. I, I left the edges raw, but I did that to a lot of my things. Like I have, you know, the, the Tilda Hart, see how I left the edges raw because I love that look. I think it looks more, it looks more shabby chic, but, um, and so, and because I couldn't turn this because this was so thin, the, um, stem, I went and I thought, well, I'll just leave the edges raw and that way I don't have to turn my seams inside out or outside in. Um, and I still loved how it turned out. So I think it turned out really, really cute. Okay. I am going to tell you how I ended up doing the rest of them though. So this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really cute. And this was a, a, a fabric from a dress. And I think I got the dress from a garage sale. Um, and besides that, they were pretty quick to make. At first, like I said, I had to like get over the fact of th th this whole thing being so small and, and this being so small and having to turn the seams inside out. But everything else was really easy. If you guys want me to do a tutorial, I can, because like I said, I changed up the way I made these uh, quite a bit different than the pattern, because like I said, I don't feel like the directions were that great and or I wasn't just getting them. So but maybe other people have made these and they're like, oh, I follow the direction just fine. So anyway, OK, there's that one. Oh, and at the top, I just want to tell you, I used a little pearl at the top for the little for the little um, just a little, I don't know little piece here because they made their own little piece here or it puffed up or something and because I didn't do mine quite like how they did I decided to put a pearl up there which I think turned out really cute okay oh and then I also um, put all of them on little saucers which I which they did this did that same thing too plus it helps these balance and like and they're and they can be pin cushions I'm probably not I'm not using mine as pin cushions I'm just using mine as little teapots um, to help decorate for Christmas because everyone else I'm doing it till the Christmas Okay, next one. Okay. I love how this one turned out. I decided to mix up the fabrics. I decided to do this in pink and this in this real pretty fabric that I got at Walmart. This was a sheet. Yeah, real pretty sheet. You guys, don't worry. I always wash on hot and dry all my sheets so everything's nice and clean. Um, but these, this fabric here is so pretty. I got this three for three, three, uh, three dollars a yard. So I bought a couple yards of it. I love it. I want to definitely do a Tilda doll out of that and do the dress. But it turned out really cute. Again, I put a little pearl for the top. Oh, this is what I want to tell you. Now, this I didn't leave raw edges anywhere. And let me tell you what I did is I went ahead and I can't give you the exact directions, but go either do it yourself. I went to the, um, I went to uh, the copy place because I can't be doing that because I'm not computer savvy. But enlarge your pattern just by a little bit. Not by a whole lot, but just, you can kind of eye it, Royal Crafters, just enlarge it a little bit. 
so that these pieces here, the stem and the handle, are bigger so that you can turn your seams inside out. Otherwise, there is no room with the original pattern. So that was something else I was like, what is the deal with this pattern? Like, why is this not bigger? Or why didn't they tell us to make the pattern bigger? But anyway, I did it. And it turned out really cute. Again, I used a little pearl at the top. This is a little milk glass plate. I put it on here. Show you the back. I just think this turned out so cute. And like I said, if anybody's interested in a tutorial, um, I can show you how I did it. Um, you may like it better how the pattern shows you how to do it, but for me, this worked out better. So, and I made it quite easy. So, okay, next one. Oh my God, you guys, I love this fabric. Is this so cute? Pink with brown polka dots. Again, I got this fabric at Walmart uh, on the three for a dollar area, or not three for a dollar. I wish it was three for a dollar. Um, three dollars a yard. And I just think this turned out so cute. I just love it. Okay. Again, another little pink pearl at the top. So you can see all the way down. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had, okay, I had a lot of fun making these. I had frustration at first until I figured a few things out. By the third one, I, the, the, by the third one, which was this one, it was a piece of cake. So, um, like I said, if you guys want a tutorial, I can give you a tutorial on these and show you how I did them. Okay? I think they turned out so cute. I'm so excited. Um, I do want to share one or two more things with you. Oh, let me grab it. It's behind me. Oh, I just moved my camera. Let me check my camera, too. Okay. All right. There we go. Then I'll make sure that I'm not in the video. Okay. Um, let me just take... Oh, I'll just do it like this. I made these tiles. I bought them at um, Home Depot. And you guys have seen these a lot. Um... You know, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit because these are really small. Yeah, I need to zoom in a little bit and go down. Excuse my shakiness here. Okay, that should work now. Um, also, I want to show you what I used. Just one second, guys. Okay, I got these calendars. I don't know if I did a haul video on this or not. I think I did. I got this calendar. Um, I'm going to show it like this because I'm kind of too far away right now, but it's called Vintage, there we go, Vintage Garden, okay, and the pages are so cute, but what I want to show you is, oh, I, let me show you the other one because I already ripped all that apart. On the back of the calendar, you know, I'm going to have to go ahead and exit out so I can show you guys this. Uh... Excuse my filming here, you guys, for a second. Bear with me. I'm going to really zoom out so you can see what the heck I'm talking about. Okay. Let's see if you can see it now. Yeah, there we go. It's called, it's just a vintage uh, garden calendar, 2015. I got this at the dollar store. Look how cute this is. Okay, I've already done a flip through of this whole calendar. You can make an entire journal out of this or use it for any of your projects. So cute. But what I like is this. See these little squares? These are so flippin' adorable. Loving that one. They're so pretty. And I'm running my finger across it because I'm looking at my um, camera in the mirror so I can make sure you guys are seeing what I'm looking at. Yeah, there we go. And here, and this one right here, let me scoot this over right here, this. You can cut that and make that a tag, which I'm going to do for sure. But anyway, those are, the, and what they did is, so these are all really like little small squares. It'll fit tiles perfectly, I thought. So I'm going to use the pages inside of here for a journal or covering different projects or whatever. And these I'm going to use for tiles. And that's what I did. Okay. So let me go to the tiles. Oh, I got to, now let me zoom in again and go down. And let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more. Okay, perfect, because now you can really see these tiles. Okay, there we go. 
So what I did is I, de I didn't use my glossy accents because um, you need too much glossy accents on these. Um, my dominoes, I always use glossy accents, but I started to use them on these tiles. Their surface area is a lot bigger, and I'm like, uh, that's too expensive to be using that much glossy accents. So I use decoupage on here. I use my um, German glass glitter, which I think I love. I'm using that on everything. Love that stuff. Um, so that's how this one turned out. Let's go to another one. This one's cute. It has a lot of writing on it. Let me make sure you guys are seeing that. Bring it forward. Yeah, it has a lot of like uh, script writing on the back and then a little birdie in the corner. And I just love this paper because it looks really vintage. Um, just one second, guys. I'm just trying to see which way this one goes. And these would be great to use. Um, these would be great to use in projects like on mini books or journals or anything. A box, you know, we kind of refurbish boxes. Okay, let me show you another one. I love these. They're like little small ATCs, but they're made out of tiles. I should call them tile ATCs. Okay, you guys, that's going to be his new name for these. ATC tiles. They're so cute. Not that these haven't been done before, because they have been. I just think these turned out really cute using that calendar. But they remind me of little ATCs, so I'm going to call them ATC calendars. I mean, ATC calendars. I'm tired. ATC tiles. So when you guys, so when I um, upload this video, that's what I'm going to call them. Okay, um... This one can go any way you want, because it's just all. Okay, there we go. So cute. I am so loving these. Oh, this one's really pretty. It's a little, um. Oh, and what dollar store I got it? I got it at the, um, Dollar Tree. So check your local Dollar Tree if you like this, um, this calendar. I bought all the rest they had, and I live in Vegas, the one on Rainbow. So, Amador, if you like these, you have to go to the Dollar Tree by your house for sure, because the one on Rainbow and like uh, Lake Mead is clearanced out. They had like six or seven left. I bought the rest. Um, isn't this so cute? Oh, there's tons of Dollar Trees here in Vegas, so. They're everywhere. Okay, I'm trying to see which way this goes. I think it goes this way, yeah. Okay, next one. Isn't that cute? So pretty. This would be really pretty for Christmas, something on, for Christmas type of thing. Or you can use it anytime. It's just a red rose, but definitely could be Christmas if you want it. We're almost down to the last one here. Uh, this one's really pretty. A little flower and then a little birdie in the corner. And then the last one. Oh, this is like the wall with the little egg. What's on the front of the whole thing, and then some daffodils. And I love the glass, the, the German glass glitter, because it kind of makes it look real more looks makes it look more aged and cracked. And then there's a the sparkle. So I really like how those turned out. You can't always see the image super super clear, but I like it because it has like that crackle effect. So you're not supposed to see the image super clear. You're supposed to look through all the cracks to see the image. And I like that. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure if there's anything else. Um, I feel like there was something else I was going to show you. Oh, I know. One other thing. I made these a long time ago, and I just never showed them. So I'm going to show them today. And I'm going to... Just one second. Let me zoom out. Zoom out more than that. At least so I can see those. Okay. Let's go like this. Okay. Really scoot that over. Make sure I'm not in this video. Okay. And I have a haul too. I've been shopping way too much. It's been like, it's just getting obscene how much shopping I've done lately. I need to stop. But I have another really fun haul of some really neat stuff like that. But anyway, I'm not doing that tonight. But aren't those pretty? I um I showed you I have a video where I did an um altered suitcase and I filled it full of 
things like this. I altered a mirror, a brush, a comb, a bunch of jewelry, a bunch of brooches. It's like a little, it's like a vintage suitcase and I just filled it full of goodies. Well, this was supposed to be in there and I forgot to put it in the vintage suitcase. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. I think that turned out so pretty. It's just a bunch of um, pearls and rhinestones and um, and then some metal embellishments from my shop. In fact, let me, let me just go in really tight here and then you'll see. Right down here on the bottom, right here on the bottom, this rose right here, you can find it in my shop. And I just ordered more of them, so I need to make sure that I have that, re I need to make sure I activated that. Yeah, because I, I have those. And what that is, is I'll show it to you again. I don't have any non-decorated, but I made some earrings out of those pieces because I just love them so much. These are some earrings I made for my daughter for prom this last year. Isn't that a pretty piece? So are those pretty earrings? But that's the piece, the bronze rose. You can do so much good stuff with this. Love those. Okay, I think that's it. I'm just trying to make sure I'm looking around my craft room. I went to Tuesday morning, finally, for the first time. So exciting. Oh, I know what else. Okay, and that's another haul. Okay, but I know what else I want to show you. Quick, quick. Let me put these over here. Um... I got a system of spectrum markers. I had that on another video. I was telling you guys about that. And it's a whole system. And I love the system. And I've been following the system. And I've learned how to... It's just like Copic markers. and um, But they're the Spectrum Noirs. So I've totally learned how to do this. The highlighting, the low lighting, the hair, the skin. Everything. And you guys have to see what I came up with. Okay, one second. This turned out so pretty i was so excited i just followed her today on a video step by step and it came out really pretty let me just um i gotta come out a little bit more so excuse my camera for a second guys not that much okay maybe a little more okay oh god you guys just bear with me look the other way for a second because i'm going insane with my camera that was crazy. All right, one more time, come out. Okay, hopefully that, that's out enough. Sorry about that, you guys. That was crazy. Let's see if this shows up. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me make room. Okay, one second, guys. Let me put these tiles away. Why are we always in such a rush when we're making videos? I guess we feel like because everybody wants to craft and we don't want to take up any, too much of anyone's time. But you know, we guys, we all watch videos and craft at the same time. So I guess we can all slow down a little bit. Okay. I am loving this. There's these girls called Bloom Girls, but I don't know if this is one of them or not, but this came in the kit. There's several things that you can color in the kit um, to practice. And this is like building up to like hair and faces and eyes like after you learn all the little steps this is what the end result is but from here you can also go in and you can learn how to um how to uh color in um oh there's just different things flowers which i guess i learned here too um little characters like animals and stuff but i learned that with all the hair so once you can once you master this you can you can color anything now so oh you guys oh my god i'm just looking in my camera right now that looks really, really pretty. I mean, I know I did it. I'm sorry to be bragging about myself, but I followed this lady today step by step by step and learned all this. And I cannot believe how pretty this came out. So this is an eight by 10. I'm going to frame it, put it in my craft room. I already made copies so I can give it as gifts and stuff. Cause I know my mom will probably want one. And, um, some of my friends might want some in their craft room. Cause this would really match my craft room well too, with all the pretty colors. God, that turned out really pretty. I cannot believe it. Okay, you guys. It sounds like I'm bragging about myself. I sound horrible. I'm sorry, you guys. I just I just did the step-by-step. -step. I learned so much. Now I can go on and color a lot of other things. Um, because of Miss D, and hopefully she watches this video, Mrs. D, you got me hooked on the Bloom Girls, and then I did this one. So now I'm going to... I just ordered the the stamps for, the other, for some other Bloom, Bloom Girls, so I'll be doing those. Along with the um, Julie Nutting, which Miss D got me into too. 
<laughs> just kidding, Miss D. Love you. Um, and I think that's it now, you guys. Okay, I'm looking around my room. Only thing else is I have a haul, but I am not going to do that right now. I'll do that tomorrow. Okay, you guys, um, if you haven't subscribed to my station, I'd love for you to do so. Um, if you have any comments or questions, you can um, list them below. Um, like I said, I have um, an Etsy shop. It's www.myfairytreasures.etsy.com. You can get those metal embellishments, like that metal, that uh, bronze rose that I showed you, um, plus many others. There's great prices there, um, and that will be on the link below. Um, I have a challenge. Uh, everything needs to be in no later than the third. That I mean, well, really, it's it ends on the thirtieth, thirty or thirty first. I can't remember. You guys can look at my challenge information, and I'm supposed to pick out on the third. But I mean, if, if things get here like on the second or on the third, right before, I'll put you in um, the challenge. Actually, that's like you get two points. Uh, or two entries. One entry just for making the stick pens and just doing a quick video and a second entry if you actually sent them to me. So I would just throw in you a second time really quick if it got here on the second. So um, I think that's it. Okay guys, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.